everybody stealing covers. What up YouTube? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Guess what today is? Today is the birthday shopping extravaganza Saturday. And so I'm filming to go to Oklahoma City. I'm not filming to go to Oklahoma City. I'm filming, I'm getting ready to go to Oklahoma City to go birthday shopping. You guys, I am so OCD and nerdy that I have index cards arranged by store with what my wish list is on those cards for those stores, so I'm excited. I made a community post asking if anybody had any products that I should not be living without, so I'll be checking that, and I'm excited. I have a small amount of money budgeted. I'm going to stay within that budget. It's not going to be as crazy as it has been in the past, but I do plan on picking up some backups of my favorite things and also picking out some new stuff, and I'm excited to go get it and play with it and share it with you. But for today, I wanted to say, guys, I just sit, my brain percolates nonstop. So I was thinking, you know, I make a cocktail of mascara, I make foundation cocktails, I make every kind of cocktail imaginable with my makeup, and I almost always use palette, eyeshadow palette cocktails. I almost always use multiple palettes. So I thought rather than dedicating a video to one particular palette, I'm gonna use at least one at least two. At least two. I have not had enough coffee yet. Maybe that will get the neurons firing. So, I wanted to use a relatively new palette and I wanted to use a super old OG palette. So what I have is the New Nude by Huda Beauty. Beautiful pinky palette you guys know I'm all about and the Stila in the light and this is from way back when there were four of these and I think they're like the windows of the soul or something like that but this one's called in the light and it has the prettiest shimmer of all time you can see I've nearly panned it so I'm just gonna fill around with these two palettes see what I can come up with and I know it's gonna be pretty <laughs> all right so I am going to, through the editing process, show you what I'm using or hold it up or put the name up or something, whatever I decide to do so that you can see what I'm using, but let's get into this eye look. All right, zoomed in and ready to roll, folks. With a BH Cosmetics 103 shader brush, I'm going to go into the Huda palette to the shade Bare because I like to put a light color up by my brow bone carve out my brow, highlight it a little bit. You know the drill. Next I'm going in with the shade Clay Rocher, which is a nice light pinky transition shade. And I'm using the Jeffree Star Morphe oh, la, 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 J56. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Tickle using going to use my Luxie 231 small tapered blending brush All right, just to deepen this further, as you can see, I'm going for a halo eye because I think I'm only gonna end up using that shimmer right in the middle. It's called, it's called Kitten. 
Anyways, I'm going to mix uh, Spanked and Love Bite, these two deeper shades here, just to kind of get a little bit of a deeper thing going on on the outer and inner, and I'm going to use the Morphe M507, a perfect tiny little blender. All right, now that I have the color placed, I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I started with and maybe a little bit more of that peachy play color and just blend the heck out of it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and work on the bottom lash line. I'm going to take the same brush that I was using for the top here and I'm going to go into a mix of Tickle and Spanked and I'm going to run that along my lower lash line and then I'm going to take the fluffy brush with the peach and blend out underneath it. Okay, so I feel like the foundation of what I want is there and now I just want some shimmer. And I hope this will look good. I think it will because I really always felt like this color didn't really fit in this palette. And as you can see, I cocktailed all over the place. <laughs> I mixed all over the place and isn't that fun just to experiment with color and experiment with color combinations I think it's a blast so I'm gonna go in with my finger and kitten and I'm just gonna put that and I mean look at the sparkly goodness you guys seriously Woo. so I'm gonna go in and put that here in the center oh yes 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 that's exactly what I was hoping would happen <gasps> do you see Kitten by Stila. I think you can get it in a single. They have kitten everything. Highlighters, all the other jazz. Kitten is like shimmery perfection. It is like shimmery perfection. It's like, I don't know how anybody could not love the beautifulness of this. So I'm going to pull it up a little bit so that it kind of pokes out and then I'm going to go in with my uh, MAC 252, 242, whatever the heck. MAC 242. How could I forget the name of my favorite brush? I'm going to go in with that and just really make sure that is packed in there because I want that to say hello and I think it is. And just kind of go along the edges of it so it's kind of sheared out into the other part and then I'll blend hello dog I'll blend with the other color this brush right here I'm not even gonna put any more product on it I'm just gonna shear out those edges and blend them into the pinky color a look and look at the blend Ooh, but see I need to go back in with my finger and put get that pop really going right there yes all right I got that all over my eyelashes so I'm gonna attempt kind of brush it off because I don't want that shimmer to show above my falsies or within my falsies. All right, so that's what we have. I, I think I'm going to find an even lighter inner corner highlight 
I may have to pull in another palette for that. I know the one. Jeffree Star Blue Blood. Can you in or whatever that shade is. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, I wasn't even close. Pulling in that icy white because, you know, it needs to be something that's brighter than the inner and this is super golden. So I'm going to go in with, I'm going to clean on my color switch, that MAC 242, and then I'm going to go in with Colin in. Oops, eye booger. Real life happens here, folks. Real life happens here, including eye boogers. Stubborn ones. All right, back to the action. Oof. This is one of the prettiest shades of all time. Just in case you were wondering. Do you see that ice? Get it, Jeffree Star. Whew. So, I made a serious cocktail. I used three different palettes. It's so fun to do that. I'm sure everybody does that. I've just never talked about it. All right, folks, so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes. I'm gonna find some eyelashes to put on. I am going to do my liner, mascara, and lashes, and then I'll be back. I told you guys, I find eyelashes everywhere everywhere. I'm going to let my eyelash glue dry before I go in with mascara and cover the band with uh, eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lippy. I'm going to use Dolly Danger by Buxom and I'm going to use Bare Minerals Gen Nude in Juju. Juju. All right, I'm going to go in with All Nighter because I'm going to be out. It's going to be warm and humid and I want my makeup to stay. I also am going to do a fan tutorial if I can actually show you on here because people kept saying, how do you do that? How do you do that? And you know it took me six and a half years to figure it out. But first, I'm going to spray. All right. This fan is giant, and I think that's the reason why I had a problem, and I thought I needed to hold it right here. And the truth is, I call this a rung. I don't know if this is a rung, but the truth is, is if you hold on with your pointer finger and your thumb to that first rung, and then just let go, it opens on its own. It's not like you're forcing it out. You just let go. You're holding on to one rung, and you're holding the rest with your fingers when you let go it opens itself and also there's just like I think they're really stiff when you first get them and I think they get it they have to get broken in a little bit but yeah pointer finger and thumb on the first rung let go of it it opens itself so boom boom <laughs> beast oh my gosh I am gonna wear you guys out on the beast I know it I know I am but sorry about it okay I'm gonna real quick go over my lash band and just kind of mesh my <laughs> mesh my uh, mascara in with my falsies. Then I'm gonna go get dressed and come back and say goodbye to y'all. And then I'm gonna be off on the shopping extravaganza! Yay! All right, guys, I am back. This is the final look. As you can see, eyeshadow cocktails is super fun are super fun it is so fun just to mix and match and combine and just see what you can come up with you don't have to be limited to one palette right you don't have to be limited to one anything so I'm gonna get out of here and get on to my birthday shopping extravaganza I will have a haul of all the things that I bought and also birthday gifts that were given to me uh, from my generous sweet lovely wonderful friends and family 
but I'm going to get out of here for now. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it so much. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot. It helps get my name out there. It lets other people on YouTube know I'm here. So I appreciate it, please, and thank you. I hope you have a great day, and until next time, take care and God bless. Bye, guys. So, I, <laughs> that was sexy. So what I have is the new Nuda, the new, <laughs> somebody wanna have somebody wanna